My name is Kai Baird, I'm Principal Researcher at Marland Maritime Technologies. I'm responsible for all of the research and development that takes place within our hydrographic survey and monitoring department. My role within this project is to bring the company's point of view to the table when we're discussing research aims and ensure that the research ends up producing tangible products that the company can use in the future. Marland Maritime Technologies specialise in providing radar software, hardware, installation and maintenance and our main industry is vessel traffic management services. So if you imagine uh, air traffic control but for a port, so what is this ship, what's it carrying, what berth is it going to, where's it come from? Uh, but over the last four years we've been moving into the hydrographic monitoring and surveying industry. This project's building on a previous collaboration with Marlan where we were originally looking at the use of radar for reconstructing intertidal geomorphology to basically aid navigation into ports. Uh, the project that we're now working on is extending that to look at better understanding intertidal to supratidal morphology and what that means is changes in, in beach state, changes in the amount of sediment that's on beaches because those beaches play an important role in relation to coastal defences. The more sand they have on a beach, the better protected coastal defences are and therefore the more resilient they are to extreme events. Hydrographic monitoring is a new avenue for Marlan and a new market globally. Nova technology is currently able to provide what the camera and the radar systems combined monitoring the coast from the shore can provide to coastal management. It's potentially a really big opportunity for Marlan. In the UK, for example, there are over 50 coastal councils that lose an awful lot of sediment from their beach every year during the winter storm season. And they really need to better monitor and manage where that sediment is moving and how best to mitigate the effects. The reason why this project is important is that at the moment there are a number of beach monitoring methods that aren't quite suitable for continuous monitoring over the longer term. Cameras are able to cover areas that radars are unable to monitor and the current methods of beach monitoring aren't suitable for continuous long term um, tracking of beach morphology. So the expertise that we bring to the project is specialist knowledge of something known as structure from motion where in essence you use a fixed camera or video camera images to construct the morphology of the beach. So this is something that Marlan don't have within their, their current capability and capacity. Their focus is predominantly on the use of radar applications and so the expertise that we're bringing is, is really in addition to what they would otherwise be able to develop themselves. Traditional methods of protecting the coastline normally involve hard engineering schemes such as sea walls and groins that use an awful lot of concrete and steel in their construction and are incredibly carbon intensive. This project is moving towards using softer methods such as managed realignment or dune maintenance. But in order for these uh, working with nature technologies to be accepted, they require a much better understanding of coastal dynamics. The eco-innovation in the project comes from better understanding natural coastal systems. So we can use their natural resilient behaviour and therefore move away from engineered coastal defences, which are obviously carbon intensive in relation to large concrete structures and engineered structures which might involve uh, fabrication of steel. At the same time, better understanding the changes in the location and the depth of channels means that we can also intervene earlier to make sure that dredging operations are better targeted and therefore save resource, save fuel in relation to port navigation. So this is the Marlan rapidly deployable coastal monitoring platform and essentially it's a 10-foot ISO container that can be picked up by a high ab truck and moved to different locations um, in order to survey remote areas of coastline. It's got a radar, a, cam a CCTV camera and a MET station on it. The Eco Innovatory project will use this platform to gather data from various sites across the UK in order to develop better algorithms for the company. So the end goals from this project are multiple really. Not only is there a product and a service that Marlan can offer as part of a whole suite of different products and services, the university also benefits from a very convincing impact case and that's an impact case that benefits a local business within the region. It benefits the region in relation to low carbon economic development 
Um, and I suppose there are additional benefits from the perspective that we have natural resilient coastlines. So as a result of that, that means that we've got coastal populations around the world that can benefit from this product.